is Aris Panag. I'm currently sitting uh, as a Veterans Resource Coordinator here for UH My College. I, pro I provide some guidance here for our veterans regarding some of their benefits, some of the things that they need to do to create a streamlined uh, a way for them to come into the UH system using their educational benefits post 9-11 or to the air or Army National Guard or Reserve process as well. So that's kind of things that I do here. I've been here, we've started this back in, I want to say about 2012. So it's been a while since we've been doing this and it's an ongoing effort to try to keep this area moving forward and helping our veterans as much as we can. Our capacity here will definitely be cut in half. Every student coming into the facility will be temperature checked and they need to be checked in. Uh, and they have to do that quick survey to make sure that they haven't had any press prying symptoms or anything like that. As far as our lab is concerned as well, they will also be, the, the amount of students allowed in the lab will also be cut because of the social distancing. It's a smaller space, so half the amount of people normally that would be in there would be allowed into the facility, into the use of the lab. So that's the biggest difference as far as space-wise here. As far as what else we would do, it would still fairly remain the same. Currently, we run this program here uh, under our current grant, Kahoe Mai Ana. Uh, it's where we have a discussion of previous conflicts and wars, of ancient Hawaiian wars as well as uh, wars within our our history as well, American history wars. So, in the Previous, prior to the pandemic, we would do it face-to-face. -face. Now, we're gonna need to transition that into probably a Zoom meeting, so everything will be online. We also have a large group discussion with that, and that would not, most likely be, have to be put online as well. So right now, they can come in and knock on the door, just come in as they normally would, and they would be screened at the front by our, myself or one of our monitors. They would be temperature checked and they would have to do a quick survey that they same survey that they would have to do whether entering a classroom uh, and just to make sure that they're not currently symptomatic or of any kind. And then they can enter as, as freely as they would. However, if the space is currently occupied or there's a reviewed capacity, we would have to at that point in time, maybe turn them away or have them come back at a different time when the space is more available. The best way to reach me would be through email and you can reach me through my email at arisb at hawaii.edu or you can also reach me by phone at 984-3242.